In this short presentation, I will show you how LAMS implements and extends the TBL learning strategy. As a quick summary, the team-based learning, TBL, is a collaborative learning and teaching strategy that enables students to follow a structured process to enhance their engagement and quality of learning. The TBL process consists of a structured sequence of individual and grouped activities. Now let's see how you do TBL in LAMS. This is LAMS Author, the interface that teachers use to create their learning design. LAMS Author has over 30 tools that you can use to create your designs. These tools, once you add content and instructions, become learning activities that you'll be able to sequence following a particular learning pedagogy. In this case, you will create a TBL learning design following the conventional TBL activity structure. The first stage is to add resources for the students to prepare before they come to class. For this, we will use the resources tool in LAMS by dragging the tool into the canvas. Then, we will add the content files and instructions we want the students to view. After we have done so, we'll give the tool its learning activity name, pre-class resources. Then you set the criteria for team formation. Students can be allocated to teams at random, allocated into team by the teacher, or students can select which team to join. After the team setup, the next activity is IRAT. You can use the assessment tool which will allow you to create MCQs or very short answer questions. To make things easier for you, you can also import your questions from Microsoft Word, including formatting and pictures, or from other e-learning platforms like IMS QTI. If you want to create your questions from scratch, you can add any type of file to your questions. Additionally, you can embed any media including LaTeX and even social content. LAMS will ensure that all content is displayed properly to any student device. All questions imported or created in the IRAT will automatically be part of LAMS Mighty Question Bank. And if any changes in the version of your questions take place in the future, your questions will always be synced. The next activity is the leader selection. Now this is technically not an explicit part of the TBL structured processes. However, TBL does determine the role of a team leader who would ensure that students' consensus is reached, answers questions on behalf of the team, and ensures that everyone within the team participates in the team's discussions. We at LAMS believe this is an important activity, so we let students choose who their leader will be for the lesson and give them instructions on their role. This is important not only for the leader, but also for the peers, as they will be able to evaluate his or her performance at a later stage. For the next activity, the TRAT, you use the Scratchy tool which is a sophisticated implementation of the if at cards and allows students to raise challenges or burning questions for further clarification. For the TRAT, you don't need to add your questions again as they're already in the question bank, so you can import them at any time. If you do any changes to the RAT questions, they are automatically synced with the question bank and the IRAT. The mini lectures or clarification sessions are embedded as part of the scratchy IRAT activity but you could use other activities for the mini lecture as we will show you briefly. The next step are the application exercises. In TBL, AEs can be forms of assessment, which can include MCQ and or essay type questions. In LAMS, you can use the assessment activity, which will not only give you MCQs and essays, but also matching pairs, very short answers, numerical, true, false, ordering, and mark hedging question types. The assessment tool also allows you to set gallery walks and simultaneous disclosing answers too. As you can have multiple AEs in the same TBL lesson, you can make use of a variety of other LAMS activities for your AEs. For instance, you can use the mind maps where each team can collaboratively create answers based on brainstorming ideas. Also, you can get students to submit posters using the submit tool, voting or pools using the vote tool, answer formative Q&As, or use the new case-based docle tool, which allows students to create a document response to a case or problem collaboratively. If you need to add a peer evaluation to your TBL lesson, use the peer review tool, which will allow you to create elaborate multiple feedback criteria, quantitative and qualitative, and allow students to provide effective self and peer evaluation. 
periodically it's a good idea to get feedback from students on the TBL process, the TBL facilitation or the teacher. If you require this kind of feedback, use the survey tool. Now use the activities to be run in teams and just create the flows and transitions between the activities. And done. If you want to control the flow of students between activities, use gates that you can open and close based on time or when you set them to do so. These gates are particularly useful in asynchronous TBL lessons. Now let's see how your TBL design maps to the TBL structure process. As part of the preparation, the pre-class materials activity using the resource tools covers that. Setting up the teams is also preparation for the TBL lessons. After this, at the IRAT stage, we have, well, the IRAT, followed by the leader selection activity, which is part of the TRAT process, along, of course, with the TRAT itself using the Scratchy tool. As for the mini lecture, the Scratchy tool does cover it, and it works particularly well for in-class environments. However, if you're running TBL asynchronously, you can add a forum activity right after the TRAT where you as content expert can address the students' appeals or burning questions and have an asynchronous discussion. If you're running a synchronous but distributed TBL lesson, perhaps you can use the chat tool instead of the forum. Alternatively, you can use LAM Zoom integration that will allow you to create Zoom session exclusively to your students in the TBL lesson and discuss their TRAT's burning questions. The Zoom integration also makes it very easy to set up breakout rooms. The next stage in the TBL process is the application exercises. And here you can make use of LAM's variety of educational tools, which all include simultaneous answer disclosure to all students and teams, as well as online gallery walks. The final TBL stage is the team evaluation, where we can have peer evaluation, self and peer evaluation using the peer review tool. And finally, teachers, facilitators or TBL process evaluation with the survey tool. Now back in LAMS Author, we are ready to save our TBL design. Click Save. Give your design a name. And now you're ready to run your design as a TBL lesson with your students.